My guard dog Toby lives outdoors 24-7, 365 days of the year. And when you live in a cold climate like up here in northern Vermont, it is no joke. According to my phone, it's negative four degrees this morning. So please uh, pardon any boogers you might see coming out. I can't control it. Morning, buddy boy. Toby's job on the farm is to guard our ducks, geese, and chickens from predators. He's actually a special breed of dog known as the Maremma that's actually bred to be an outdoor livestock guardian dog. Toby's dog people come from the mountains of Europe. In fact, Toby would be miserable if I actually made him go inside the house. Which gets to the problem I'm trying to solve in this video. We have a little bit of a housing crisis here at Goldshaw Farm. Toby used to live inside that shed. Hey, Toby dog. Hey, Toby dog. Hey, Toby dog, how's it going, buddy? But I had to reallocate that house to our breeding flock of geese. Wake the dragons! <laughs> Shows you how cold it is. Even they don't want to come out. And so I built this little shelter for Toby that was going to house his little doggy igloo. The doggy igloo used to stay in his shed and he would sleep in it, but admittedly, I haven't seen him use it since he was a puppy. And in fact, I've been watching Toby very carefully, and the, really the only place he has been sleeping has been underneath the duck house. Which, when temps drop this low, is just not an appropriate location for a beautiful dog like this. Yeah, buddy. I don't want you to get too cold, man. And so even though this is the largest size doggy igloo that they make, I think it's still too small for Toby. He's topping in at about 100 pounds right now and just doesn't seem very comfortable crawling into that thing. I had also built this shelter to keep the additional snow and ice and wind out of his way. And as soon as I took the doggy igloo out, he started using it right away. So that tells me that this thing is the right size. It's just that thing's the problem. So in today's video, we're gonna build Toby a new doggy igloo. And I've got a very clever way to do it. Come with me. Well, um, I actually had to make a pit stop before I go to the place to get the thing I need to build Toby's house. I actually just stopped at the post office. We got so many packages from you guys. Another Festivus miracle. So thank you to everybody who sent us those packages. It really means a lot to Allison and me. I'll open them all up at the end of this video so you guys can see what's inside. But yeah, back to the project about Toby's new igloo house. So as most stories seem to end up starting this way, I saw an ad on Craigslist the other day. It was for these IBC totes, you know, like the big tote thingies that you can store liquids into. Well, there's this guy who was selling them. He was using them to store simple syrup. So it's just, you know, sugar water, essentially. Nothing dangerous or toxic that could potentially hurt your animal. My plan is I'm gonna convert that into a little ice cube house for Toby. So right now I got about a 40 minute drive to go see the dude who's got the stuff so that I can make the thing. And yeah, that sounded way sketchier than it should have. That was a pretty straightforward transaction. Nice guy selling a whole bunch of IBC totes. These IBC totes, by the way, if you are watching this video and you want to make your own doggy igloo, they're really cheap. You can pretty much find them all over the place. The easiest and cheapest way that I've found to do it is you just go on Craigslist and search for IBC or IBC tote. And that'll usually bring up a whole bunch of search results. And all you have to do is look for the ones that are closest to you and cheapest and go for it, which was pretty much the case uh, for the one that I just bought here. So with the magic of video editing, I will now fast forward you guys back to the farm. Okay, we are back at the farm. I have plans for this cage. I'm gonna use it for a future project, but I don't need it today. I 
forgot my safety glasses. I feel like I'm in a police drama. Only way dorkier looking. Well, it looks like something caught her. Hey, buddy boy. I got a surprise for you. What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. Does it meet your sniff test? Uh oh. It's not gonna fit. Well, it's definitely a lot bigger. Than this little guy. So there's plenty more space for you, pal. Hopefully it's enough for you and maybe even the puppy. That looks like an absolutely perfect fit there, Toby Dog. Here, buddy, I know what will make this a little bit more comfortable for you. Hey, chickens, you've taken over the goose house. <laughs> really, huh? All right. You do you. Excuse me, Alexander Hamilton, I need one of these. What you think there, bud? Whew. buddy come on come on come on no you don't want to come in come on buddy come on <laughs> yeah it's pretty darn spacious in there and comfy i think it's really the straw that makes it a nice bed it's just a little bit new for you buddy i'll give you some time to get used to it and i also know i have a surprise for toby all right let's see what's in this first box By the way, if you guys ever want to send mail, our P.O. box is down below in the description of the video. Ooh, what's this? Oh, wow, it's a book. Dory gets a forever family. I can't wait to read this. Oh, it's very nice. So this woman who wrote the book, she actually sent us a book. She knew that I'm still working on the Toby Dog book and she is encouraging me to finish that book. And I absolutely love what I'm seeing here with her book. Let me take a look at it. Oh, this is adorable. I can't wait to read these. Thank you, Ricky. I appreciate that. Okay, now this box, if you can see it here, it's actually addressed to Toby Dog. I wonder what could be inside. Hey buddy, come check this out. I think this one's for you. Oh boy, Toby. Oh, it's your favorite big in strips. It's a double supply of dog treats. What else have we got in here, Toby? Oh boy, Toby, it's even more dog treats. The Rufles. <laughs> oh, so it's a very nice gift from uh, Diva. So thank you, Diva. We really appreciate it. I know Toby Dog definitely appreciates it. <laughs> By the way, I did actually get one other book in the mail that I forgot to mention the other day. It's uh, called Pablo, Guardian Cat, Destiny Revealed. A new novel every month. 
by Dr. Pep and Birdie. Dr. Pep and Birdie are the pen names of Eli and Ruby. And Eli and Ruby wrote this incredible story about Pablo Barncat. I actually wanted to read it to you guys. There once was a cat named Pablo. He lived on Goldshaw Farm. He was known for his great hunting skills. It started like this. It was a sunny day in Vermont. Pablo was lying down in the shade of the barn when he saw it. A mouse had snuck into the bird pen in search of food. Slowly, Pablo got up and crawled over to the pen. He snuck up behind the mouse and pounced. Now where should he eat it, he thought. He walked over to the front porch and quietly devoured it, bones and all. Then Pablo knew it was his destiny to keep the land rid of mice. So he set off in search of more. The mice heard the news and they needed to form a rebellion. A few days later, Pablo had no luck in searching until this day. He was walking along the pond when he saw the mouse rebellion. Marching over with their tree bark armor and their acorn tip spears, Pablo knew that the time had come. It was war between cat and mouse. So he took out his claws of justice and ran into battle. And that's actually where the story ends. You guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's, it's actually to be continued. So, so I'm really excited to get the next episode of Pablo Guardian Cat. And, and Eli and Ruby, thank you very much. And I hope you guys all have a very happy and healthy holiday. I know this holiday is going to be tough for a lot of people. I know Allison and I are separated from our family. And so hi to all of my family and friends that I'm not able to see this Christmas season. I uh, miss you guys and I love you a lot. I promise to let you guys know what happens in the next episode of Goldshaw Farm and whether or not Toby uses his house. I really hope he uses his house. I think it's a very cool house. <laughs>